Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue talking about pre-processing in scikit-learn. So this video is specifically about whitening or sphering. So what is whitening or sphering and when to use it and why do we use it? Uh, I'll go through the intuition behind this particular method uh, using PCA and ZCA. So principal component analysis and zero component analysis. Finally, we'll look at a brief implementation in Python before we move on to coding in Jupyter Notebook. So what is uh, whitening or spearing and what is decorrelation and why is it used? So let's imagine we have a data set as shown here in the left hand figure where we have the height and weight in this case, uh, we have the yellow dots, which the orange dot, which represent the data points. And as you can see, as the height is increasing, the weight is also increasing. And that is to tell that tells us that those two features are correlated. So in machine learning, uh, when we are training a model, what we want to do is remove such collinearities uh, within features. Uh, that's important to train uh, the model correctly and therefore uh, the what we would like to do is decorrelate the features as shown here in the second plot where you can see that now in this case the weight uh, is not dependent much on the height as you can see and sphering or whitening is a step uh, further to this where each of these features are uh, sh as shown here in the rightmost plot because they are arranged in a spherical fashion they it's also called as sphering what essentially what we are doing here is we are uh, removing any correlation between the features in our data set so the intuition behind there are several steps uh, for whitening or sphering a data set and these are listed here on the left hand side data zero center covariance matrix eigenvalues eigenvectors and whitening using zca or pca uh, i'll go through this intuition without any math and then in one slide I'll, a couple of slides i'll show you the equations that can be used to calculate these values so here we have the data set of height and weight, a uh, couple of data values for height and weight. Uh, please note that the values shown here on the table do not necessarily correspond to the dots that I'm showing in the plot. So that's just a representation. So what we want to do then, uh, the first step is to, or step two is to zero center the data. What I mean by that is here, as you can see, the data goes from one to seven for height and one to seven for weight. What we want to do is subtract the mean height from all the height data points and subtract the mean weight from all the weights. And now we have this height centered and weight centered. So this is uh, what we want uh, to begin with. So as you can see, once we center the data, we have the zero in the center of this data set. So once uh, that step is completed next, we can use that data set, which is zero center to calculate the covariance matrix as shown here on the right hand side. So this would be a square matrix where the diagonal elements, those would be the variances and the off diagonal elements, those would be the covariances between different features. For example, here, the covariance between the height and weight is given by this value, which is 0.38, whereas the variance of height would be 0.74, and similarly for weight as well. Once the covariance matrix is calculated, the step after that is to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, if you do not understand what these are, I highly recommend checking out the video from the beginner series. Uh, here, what mm, we are doing, going to do is 
just talk about the implementation so eigenvalues and eigenvectors are calculated from the covariance matrix and here as you can see the principal component uh, one versus two and the principal component one uh, is directed along a, along the largest variation in the data set uh, and the component two is uh, orthogonal to the component one as shown here in the blue arrow next once we have the eigenvalues and eigenvectors such as here by using the scipy linear algebra library we get two uh, matrices for eigenvalues we get this vector uh, which is just one dimensional and here we have two dimensional uh, eigenvectors uh, so the value of 0.98 in this eigenvalue matrix corresponds to the vector here eigenvector which is given in columns so the first eigenvector is 0.86 and 0.51 so the eigenvalue corresponding to this is 0.98 and similarly for the second vector minus 0.5 and 0.8 the eigenvalue corresponding to this eigenvector is 0.1 once we have these eigenvalues and eigenvectors then we are ready to widen the data and thus we can compute we get dot products to compute the Python data for PCA and the data will look like this and similarly we can get the Python data for ZCA which looks like this. Now if you are wondering how the how is this calculated so here's the intuition for that centered uh, when we center the data we are essentially subtracting the mean of each of those features from the individual values. Uh, so here x centered is the centered data now for variance as you can see uh, we calculate the variance by subtracting the mean from each of the individual values then taking a, a square of that and then taking a sum of that and dividing it by n if if the bias is equal to true and for covariance uh, instead of taking the square we are uh, multiplying different uh, differences from their means uh, for different features for example here we are subtracting the x mean from x and y mean from y and then multiplying them together then getting the sum total of that and dividing it by n now if uh, if we have bias is equal to false then the only difference is we need to divide by n minus 1 instead of n and you will see that in numpy the default is bias is equal to false so uh, we need to uh, divide by we need to set the values according to either bias is equal to true or bias is equal to false as needed now the next step is uh, calculating the eigenvectors and eigenvalues that can be calculated by this formula we won't go into the details of how it is calculated but just to show you the equation that can be used is this where a is the matrix this could be the covariance matrix that we have and then lambda is the eigenvalue and i is the identity matrix and similarly here v is the eigenvector lambda is the eigenvalue so first we can substitute the value of uh, covariance matrix here uh, solve the equations for lambda then use that lambda value plug it in this formula and then solve for v after we have those we can then substitute uh, the eigenvalues and eigenvectors in this formula to get the Whiteron data set using PCA. Here this inverted V that's the capital lambda and U is the eigenvector. So this is the eigenvalue, uh, eigenvector and this is the data set. Similar to this for the ZCA whitening, uh, this is the formula that we need to use where we have the eigenvector dotted with inverse square root of eigenvalue 
dotted with transpose of eigen vector dotted with the uh, data the implementation in python is like would be like this we have the data set uh, which would be a matrix x where each row corresponds to a feature and the values for each features are distributed in all the row columns when then we take the center we center the data set so basically we subtract mean from each of those features then we calculate the coherence uh, by using np.cov and then we calculate w and v where w is the eigen values v is the eigen vectors using the linear algebra library and using eig uh, there is also another method eigh but here we'll be using the eig method after the eigen values are calculated then we can calculate the diagonal uh, eigen value create this matrix for scaling purposes where we uh, take the inverse square root of w and then put it in a diagonal in a matrix and here the small letter e is used there uh, to avoid problems of uh, during inversion if if the values are zero so we put a very small value and that solves that problem then for calculating the Byton PCA this is we take dot products in this fashion and then for white and GCA we take dot products in this